Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Lou and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to episode 11 of Vintage Matchbox Mondays. And today's video is going to be a little bit unusual, or should I say, um, we're going to be looking at some more unusual pieces. So we're going to look at a couple of cars to start with, and then we're going to take a look at a vintage tram car. And then we're going to be taking a look at a Super Kings helicopter. And then right at the very end, we're going to be taking a look at a little Vespa scooter 1950 50s vespa scooter so like i said a bit different to my usual stuff um but uh, nonetheless it should be interesting uh, anyway we'll get straight into it so i was out and about this morning went to my favorite little second hand store in a little flea market not far from my house and he had two or three pieces in um which i picked up um two or three pieces that actual fact he'd put to one side before he put them out as he knows I'm in quite a bit and he knows roughly what I like. So anyway, I did get this cool little um, Matchbox super fast and I think it's the uh, Rolls Royce Silver Cloud or Silver Shadow, Silver Shadow, sorry. And I do like this casting. I have a couple of others in my collection of a similar nature to this. Um, and like I said, it all stems back from being a child because when I was a little boy, in my school, when I was about four or five, we had a little lucky dip box in the corner of the class. And if you did well in school, you got a chance to pick out the lucky dip box. And there was all these toys wrapped up in like um, uh, sort of uh, Christmas paper in sawdust. And I picked out, funnily enough, I picked out this car. Not this exact car, but one exactly the same as this. So... That is where the like of this particular casting comes from. But like, like I said, this is a, I have shown this one before, but this is the exact same one that I picked out and about the same sort of condition. And I think this one was made in about 1965 and it's in pretty good condition. It has, as you can see, the hard plastic rubber, or sorry, the hard plastic tires on chrome centers. There you go, Matchbox series number 24, Rolls Royce Silver shadow so that is my favorite one but anyway as i said this is pretty much the same it's just just a slightly newer version a casting i think it's a completely different casting it's on the same car but it is a different casting as this one had the original one has an opening boot this one has opening doors so it is a different casting but still pretty cool and like i said this will clean up quite nice with a bit of a wash bit of a clean on the windows, bit of chrome on the wheels and give that base a bit of a polish up and it will look pretty good. But like I said, for a pound, you can't go wrong. There you go, 1975, nine, 1979 copyright. So it is a later, later edition. And then my fate, one of my other favorite ones is this one. I got this one the same time as this one. I have shown them both before, um, but this is, this, this is a, again, the same car. And, uh, and the casting has been, I don't know if right, the plates are the same. The plates, yeah, the plates are the same. So it has, it is probably the same casting, just been tweaked. But uh, anyway, this has a convertible roof and the, the early super fast wheels with the 19, yeah, 1969 copyright. And there's an opening boot as well. So pretty cool so anyway as i said i do like this casting so it is another one to my royal rolls royce matchbox collection so that was the first car and the second piece i picked up was this rather unusual um london um tram car now it's not something i would usually collect um i'm not as in i'm not into the really old Matchbox stuff. My my favourite years for Matchbox is about 19, sort of 1970 up to about 1982. They're my favourite years. <clears throat> they were a lot of the cars that I grew up with. So all the um, sort of colourful 70s castings are my favourite. But if I come across an early piece, I sometimes pick it up. And um, like I said, with this one, I probably won't keep this. This will most likely be go will go into will be either swapped or traded or it will be um, sold at car boot sale in the summertime. But 
It was up for seven pounds. I got it for five and I thought it was worth a go. So we'll take a closer look at it. So as you can see, the box is very faded and it just says London uh, tram car, Leslie products, Y3. And then it's got some stuff on the back. So it's basically, these were in London at the turn of the century, the real tram cars. So we'll take a look, look closer look. So anyway, the tram car is in a lot better condition than the box. And this is why I picked it up, as it was cheap enough that I can do something with this, probably swap it for something that I'd rather prefer, but it's still a cool piece. It's still a cool piece. Um, it came out, if I remember rightly, uh, what do I think now? It was, I think it was about 1956. This particular piece was was first manufactured to about 1965. So, quite old. But yeah, news of the world. And like I said, it still has all its stickers and all that type of good stuff. So there you go, made in England by Lesney. So, like I said, not my cup of tea, but for the money, and it's different. So, that is that. Now, the other strange piece that I picked up was this. So, put the camera for a little bit. And it is the Matchbox K92 helicopter. And these were produced from about 1982 to about 1985. Now, I had one of these as a kid, but I didn't have this. I had the Royal navy rescue version which was the same as this but in black orange pontoons and i don't think it had any of this on it it was just meant to replicate the early um sort of sea king helicopter type thing <clears throat> i think or their version so when i seen this and that's what it's about in matchbox it's all about the nostalgia that's why i do this 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 particular segment of videos because i was really into it as a kid and i know lots of you are as well so again, I picked this up just because it was similar to what I had. And it's in pretty good condition. It wants a little bit of a wipe. A little bit of, um, that's what the price tag was. And this was, um, this was three pounds. Wasn't expensive. And like I said, it will clean up and it's all got all its, uh, its uh, stickers there. But this particular version would have originally came as a helicopter transporter set. And the transporter was actually, the cab to the transporter was one of these Ford trucks. So it would have had a Ford truck that would have been in yellow, and then it would have had a flatbed green trailer with the helicopter on the back, like that. But unfortunately, no longer the transporter is there. But the helicopter's still pretty cool, like I said. But I'm not a helicopter collector, but it's the whole nostalgia thing so there we go super kings k92 helicopter 1982 copyright lesney england so that's that so that's the other couple of pieces i picked up this morning now the last piece we're going to take a look at is from a company called um i've got to get this right now it is i think it's ben bros um is the actual company now now the reason i'm showing this is because basically I, I i just thought i'd get it out because um i learned some more about this funnily enough when i was looking up the uh tram car and i bought this about a year ago now and i actually went to buy i think it was the um buick regal uh, that so it was out of the kojak i think it was the kojak buick regal is what i was buying and i ended up buying that and this for £12. And the guy said it's early matchbox. So of course I thought why not? It's got its box. So I bought it. When researching it, it did seem to share matchbox looking, you know, and it is very matchbox looking. And there was a bit of information and I thought it was early matchbox, but it's actually not. It is actually made by the company Benbros, which is there you go, Benbro. So Benbro, Benbros, it is their actual company. Now they started off in 1940 and went on to 1965. Was how long Benbros were running for? 
But in the early 50s, when Matchbox came out with their, I'm just trying to look, I've got any early Matchbox size boxes here. I haven't actually got any to hand. But when they came out with their new Matchbox cars, which obviously, as we all know, the, the original Matchbox cars fitted into Matchboxes. So I've got an original Matchbox. So you can see they're a lot smaller and they used to fit into into matchboxes, hence the word matchbox. Um, so Lesney made the matchbox line. So anyway, what I'm trying to get at is the company Bembros liked the idea and decided to make their own line called uh, the Mighty Midget uh, series. <coughs> um, I think it was called the Mighty Midget TV series for some reason, I don't know why. But it was a series of vehicles and they share they're very similar to Matchbox, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave um, at the end of the video. I'm going to leave some um, pictures of some of the vehicles they made, and you can see the similarity and why people make the mistake thinking they're Matchbox. Anyway, we'll take a look at this one as I'm gassing on. So here is the Vespa scooter, very nicely made. Um, I actually thought this had been restored at first and thought it's someone had hammerite, hammer painted it with hammerite, but it's actually not. It turns out this is their paint quality and it's in really, really nice condition. Quite basic casting, metal wheels, made in England. It's missing its man, but it's still a nice little piece. And I will leave about now some other pictures of the other variations with the men um, so I'll leave some pictures so you can get an idea of what I'm going on about. So you got so like I said, they made quite a few different color variations. You could you could, you could get them like I said, the man would clip on his foot would clip on there, and they even did a version. A later version with rubber tires but like I said this isn't matchbox I just wanted to clear that up because I did show it once before about a year ago and called it early matchbox and it's not but anyway I'll, it's the end of the, at the end of the video like I said I will leave some pictures and you will see the similarity but that was because they were trying to compete with matchbox um, they were trying to basically compete with them but they weren't their quality of die cast, even though it's good, it wasn't as good as Matchbox. The Matchbox quality was better. But anyway, with that, uh, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more vintage pieces, wheel swaps, customs, um, premium pieces, and all that good stuff to come. I'm still waiting for my uh, couple of pieces I've ordered. Um, but like I said, we've been having postal strikes over at the moment and all sorts of stuff. I am, all I will say is it's Mini GT. That's what I've got coming. Um, and I've also, I may, I've got a challenge video that I have recorded. I was supposed to have uploaded it last night, but I didn't get round to doing it. So I may upload it after this. But anyway, with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for watching.